That was a good, solid bite. Wow. Oh. That's going. G'day everybody and welcome to another Full Scale Fishing Adventures episode. We've just dropped the boat in the water in the Glenelg River. Which is a beautiful estuary system. It's one that I fished uh, quite a few years ago now. Always wanted to get back so it's good to be back. Um, plan is going to chase brim but as you know in the Glenelg there's a chance of mile away, chance of estuary perch. It's just a cool fun system to fish. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. All right, so my plan is gonna head out the front um, fish the channels and like the flats uh, while we've got the last bit of run out tide happening and the winds low um, and then uh, once I've done that I'm gonna push up the river and search some of the rock banks and um, some of the snags up the river so it should be fun We've got a bit of current, a few rocky points here. Um, I reckon it's a good place to start. I'm not going to search for fish with the active target, but it's really good to have it, to know that there's fish down there. Um, I like fishing with a sounder, and this is so handy because I'm casting all the time. I can see what's in front of me rather than what I've just driven over. So, have that out. The few different options rigged, um, like I said, I haven't been here for a long time, so just rigged up three different options. I've got a motor oil ST grub on a 1 12th ounce head, it's ever reliable if you're going to chase brim. I've got a Ned rig um, with a TRD craw, and then I've got one of the TT um, that is a 1 12th ounce little blade. Blades are really good in this sort of estuary um, style fishing um, I don't know why they work so well but they do and I think to start with I'm going to fish the motor oil grub and I reckon there's a bit of a drop off here so just work our way down have a bit of a fish through here and see what's going on we've got outgoing tide till mid-morning I think it was so good you can find a few bits of um, like current eddies and stuff like that which seems to be a good spot for the brim to hold feels like a good one it's funny how much these fish must move around because we're only in well half a meter of water and this would all be dry and low tide and obviously just push up there as it fills up it's a nice one awesome beautiful 
Beautiful. That is a really nice fish. Oh, hey, hey, settle down. There is so much weed um, in the system. I'm not sure whether that's a common thing, but the fish don't seem to mind. That is a cracking Glenelg River brim. Perfect start to the day. All right, dude. Thanks for coming. That was a good, solid bite. Wow. Oh. That's going. That's amazing. Sometimes, like, they just dook it so hard. Feels like a really nice fish. I'm going to have to go after him because he's going to get around the weed. Wow, did that smash that. Oh, it looks like a really nice one. Let me get a look at him. Oh, it's a mulloway. Is it? It is, it's a nice mulloway. That is sick. Oh, no wonder he duked it. Oh, that is beautiful. And it's not a mulloway, it's a snapper. <laughs> it's unreal. I did not think oh, I'd be catching snappers in the river. Wow. I wonder if they're up here because of the... There's some really, really gnarly weather. And I wonder if they've come up here because of that. Beautiful. Oh. Well, that is sick. That is a sensational fish. <laughs> Just staring at it. And I could be netting it, admiring him. Wow, that's a nice fish. <laughs> I'm stoked with that. Well, this is not what I was expecting to catch up in the estuary but what a sensational fish no wonder he smashed it so hard awesome oh he's ready that was awesome so weeds become a real problem uh, but a couple of really nice fish down uh, near the mouth now i'm just gonna go up um, past the bridge work a few rock walls, see if there's a few snags to fish. We'll see if we can't catch a couple more. I have absolutely no idea about this area. So I thought I would just start on the best looking bit and we can always go from there. I didn't want to go hooning upstream and drive past heaps of stuff that I should have been fishing. So I thought I'd just start straight away and see what happens. Beautiful rock wall, like it looks really good.
we got the smallest estuary perch in the world. <laughs> what a little champion. Their mouths are so big for the size of the fish. It's incredible. <laughs> Another little tiny scrap up. He absolutely choked it. There was no getting away from that. He was on it. Oh, you got. Got it in. Another little estuary perch. <laughs> Didn't even get it in his mouth, that one. Well, I've had a couple of small tiny little estuary perch along the cliffs here but my gut feeling is um, to head back out to the sand channels out at the mouth um, found some good fish there early and I don't know I've just got a gut feeling I should be back out there again so I'll go for a hoon out and see what we can find Got him. Well, that was worth the trip down. <sighs> nice. Didn't take long at all. Fish are certainly where you find them. I had a bit of a run around up top. Come back down here. And the broom are here. Nice. Okay. Beautiful fish. So silver. Hey, 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 hey. Settle down. Beautiful. Got him. That was a sick bite. It's been a little bit hard because they got the current pushing out and the wind pushing in. I reckon I've missed a couple. It's a really nice one. Oh, not as big as I thought, still a nice fish. Hooked on the bottom side of the lip, that's why. I can't believe the condition on them, they're amazing. Beautiful. Got him. That was a really good bite. Swapped over to the blade. I could see him on the active target there. And this one's just picked it up. Cool. 
Last one was in the bottom of the lip, this one's in the top of the head. Jump here. Full of fight. Nice. That is a chunky, chunky brim. How you going there, dude? That's awesome. So silver. Well, what a super fun morning session that has been. I've been meaning to get down to the Glenelg for ages. Super stoked that I did, and I will definitely be back because there is just so much to explore. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give us a like, leave a comment, and if you subscribe to the channel, it helps the channel grow. Really appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you all next time.